Relativity Space is an exciting company trying to reinvent the rocket industry with 3D printing. For years now, they've been building and testing various systems including Terran-1, a small lift launch vehicle set to lift off for the first time in only months. This comes in addition to Terran-R, a fully 3D printed, medium heavy lift launch vehicle designed to be fully reusable. In the last couple of weeks, Relativity Space has shared some more updates on Terran-R's main engine development as well as other important updates. This includes physical ANR testing and printing progress, all of which are moving at an impressive pace. Relativity is confident that 3D printing is the future and will help increase reliability, speed, and reduce costs, just to name a few. By fusing 3D printing, artificial intelligence, and autonomous robotics, Relativity is printing the rocket's structure and engines. Meant to reduce touch points and lead times, simplify the supply chain, and increase overall system reliability. Here I will go more in depth into this next-gen rocket, what progress it has made in the last few weeks, what to expect in the future, and more. Even though Relativity is busy with the first launch of Terran-1, the company has been continuing to make impressive progress on Terran-R. This includes new 3D printer development, infrastructure contracts, and especially ANR engine progress. Only one week ago on the 26th, Relativity Space tweeted saying, Running some more dev tests with ANR TCA this week, reaching up to 75% range. To put in perspective the timeline and progress on this engine, only a few weeks prior, Relativity CEO Tim Ellis tweeted mentioning, This may look like all our other engine tests, but it's not. First ANR full-scale hotfire test, goal by the team. This was 35% power level of the 268,000 pound maximum thrust. These brand new 3D printed engines will power Terran-R. Massive push to get this done so quickly. All of Relativity's engines, including ANR, are 3D printed, just like the rocket. Terran-R will utilize seven of these engines on the first stage for its thrust. The purpose of 3D printing, rather than using traditional methods, is to try and enhance mission reliability by reducing part count in engine combustion chambers, igniters, turbo pumps, reaction control thrusters, and vehicle pressurization systems. In addition, all Aeon engines use propellants of the future, liquid oxygen plus liquid natural gas, which are not only one of the best for rocket propulsion, but also the easiest to eventually make on other planets such as Mars. Within the space industry, we are watching a lot of modern and next generation launch vehicles switching to this propellant combination. Not to mention, back in October, through an agreement with NASA, Relativity is expanding its facilities and infrastructure at NASA's Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. The new facilities will primarily support the testing of Relativity's ANR engine. Specifically, Relativity will utilize over 150 additional acres within the Stennis Test Complex, with testing infrastructure for its ANR engines being built from the ground up on previously unutilized land north of the A and E test complexes. The company has begun ground clearing work for several new engine test stands, a full-scale second stage stand, office buildings, and a vehicle hangar. By now, full ANR engine tests are tracking to occur later this year at Relativity's newly announced facility expansions. Focusing on the rocket itself, created in Relativity's factory of the future, Terran-R is fully reusable, including its engines, first stage, second stage, and payload fairing, and will be capable of launching over 20,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit in reusable configuration. This is thanks to Relativity's proprietary 3D printing process, which is enabled by software and data-driven manufacturing exotic 3D printed materials, and unique design geometries that are not possible with traditional manufacturing, driving a faster rate of compounding progress and iteration in the industry. Terranar is expected to provide both commercial and government customers affordable access to space in LEO and beyond. Relativity has big goals including using Terranar to help accommodate the company's growing pipeline of commercial interest, and eventually offering customers a point-to-point -point space freighter capable of missions between Earth, Moon, and Mars. Now that we know more about the rocket itself and some of the recent progress it's made, we can take a closer look at its manufacturing process and the multiple launch contracts it already has secured. In June of last year, Relativity announced that it had signed a multi-year, multi-launch services agreement, or LSA, with OneWeb, a global space-based communications company. Under the agreement, Relativity will launch OneWeb's low Earth orbit satellites on Terranar starting in 2025. These launches will support OneWeb's deployment of its Gen 2 satellite network, which will add capacity and fresh resources to build upon the initial constellation of 648 satellites the company is currently building out. Terranor will launch OneWeb missions from Launch Complex 16, Relativity site at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. With the addition of this multi-launch agreement, Relativity has a total of five signed customers for Terranor, including multiple launches and totaling more than $1.2 billion in backlog, a significant amount of funding that the company is working to uphold. Besides engine development, new printers were designed and created specifically for this rocket. With Relativity's unique approach, they needed just as innovative equipment for the job. Months ago, they unveiled the latest iteration of its first-of-its-kind proprietary manufacturing platform, Stargate 4th Generation Metal 3D Printers. 
The newest Stargate printer technology defies traditional printing constraints by moving horizontally as it feeds multiple wires into a single print head to print orbital rockets. Relativity is developing customized software and machine learning techniques to allow these printers to print more complex and significantly larger metal products with improved print speed and reliability. These new printers also radically simplify manufacturing supply chains as they are capable of printing a rocket with 100 times fewer parts in a matter of months. With faster iteration cycles, Stargate printers are capable of accelerating progress and innovation within the aerospace industry. Most immediately, these printers will serve as the primary manufacturing infrastructure for Terranar production. Relativity believes that longer-term printers offer tremendous value-generating potential for other end-product use cases within the $1 trillion plus dollar aerospace, aviation, energy, and defense industries as the core of a new tech stack for aerospace products. These printers are being set up in the company's new massive manufacturing facility named the Wormhole. Aranar engines for Terranar will continue to be produced at the company's other Long Beach factory, the Portal. The Wormhole, a former Boeing C-17 manufacturing plant, was secured by Relativity to be its new headquarters in 2021. Currently 33% operational, the factory has several Stargate 4th generation printers online, with more than a dozen printers planned to be producing Terranar components in the coming months. Each Stargate 4th generation printer is capable of producing 4 Terranar rockets per year. The remainder of the wormhole will continue to be built out in phases, bringing more printers online and moving more teams into the company's headquarters as production for Terranar scales. Some of the benefits of these new printers include improved print quality and work center efficiency. This is achieved through powerful perception technology for in-process monitoring, which fuses together computer vision, advanced sensors, and real-time telemetry. You also have increased print size capacity through the use of a horizontal print orientation. These new printers remove ceiling height constraints which impact vertical 3D printers. Through horizontal printing, the new systems are capable of printing objects up to 120 feet long and 24 feet wide, resulting in an increased volume capacity of 55 times its third generation predecessor. Also, reduced print start time and costs are supported by an integrated approach to build setup and print plate preparation. Similarly, reduced entropy for more consistent, reliable manufacturing can be realized through a configuration which centralizes work centered around Stargate's robotic automation platform. Lastly, the company is confident that lighter, more cost-effective aerospace product production through rapid iteration is generated by leveraging Stargate printers and material science advancements developed in Relativity's in-house metallurgical laboratory. In this case, Relativity has proprietary high-performance next-generation materials which will be used for products printed with these new printers. Turn R will be the first product in a series of products to benefit from the use of lighter materials and a faster production time. Relativity Space is getting ready for the first launch of Terran 1 and is making impressive progress on Terran R. This includes ANR engine development, new 3D printers, various infrastructure, and more. Not to mention a host of funding that has already been secured. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.